General, if the, uh, if the state were to press for uh, the National Guard to be used as an enforcement arm on drugs, would you resist that? This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by Freekeen.com. Mr. Foster, to what extent are you increasing the uh, drug death toll with your prosecution of uh, victimless crime laws um, in the sense that people have to pick between black market drugs and no drugs? General, if the, uh, if the state were to press for uh, the National Guard to be used as an enforcement arm on drugs, would you resist that? It all depends on authorities and what we can do. That doesn't sound like a no. It depends on the authorities that are granted to us. So. Is, is there any authority granted in the U.S. Constitution to do that? You are on, you're operating under the U.S. Constitution, correct? We are, but we're also operating under the Constitution of the state of New Hampshire. So it depends on authorities and who's paying the bill. All right. Thanks, General. Yeah, after the holidays, I'll get a hold of you. Okay. You know, whatever. Okay. A question related to Governor Hassan. Why did she refuse to debate Ian Freeman in the Democratic primary? Oh, I have no idea. I have a question for you, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Did you remember the public? I don't know why you weren't in the room. You could have said anything you wanted. Everybody that was sitting around the chair is a member of the public. And I, I, I would love to know what you wanted to say, but you, you are here, so. That would have been no. another, that would actually have been my next question, but go ahead. Yeah, no, no, just, I was just curious. My next question was going to be to what extent is general public comment allowed? Oh, absolutely, every so time. Anyone can go in, and, just like a state house hearing. Sure. That's good. Sure, don't hold back. I'm impressed with that part. Yeah. yeah All right, good. thanks so much. I think that went well. Got a question regarding the commission. Sure. At Dave Ridley, Ridley Report com. Hi. Um, I'm wondering, uh, to what extent does this represent a cross-section of New Hampshire society? Can you yeah. Mind? So the commission is based on a, um, uh, our strategic plan, something called collective action, collective impact. Um, and the collective action model of coalition building looks at uh, uh, community sectors and how community sectors can engage. And then we've worked both at the commission and that at our various task forces to have representation from sector stakeholder groups, including members of the public. So I think um, the way in which we've begun to do this work makes this commission quite big because although there's the statutory members of this commission between those and our task forces which engage in work with partners across the state, there's probably two or three hundred folks representing a wide array of New Hampshire citizens that are involved and plugged into the process. So we're always welcoming new engagement when we can. It's big, I'll give you that. Yeah, You're welcoming yeah. engagement, I'll give yeah. you that. But if it's such a cross-section, then can you tell me who on this commission represents the pro-liberty position? Um, well, I don't know that we've done cross-sectioning based on political belief uh, necessarily. So, you know, with the ex with the exception to which, of course, the House and the Senate have jurisdiction over their members. Um, although I don't, w whether that's a motivation for them in terms of identifying who gets into those seats, I couldn't really, I don't know, quite frankly, couldn't comment on. Um, you know, but I think we've been uh, really engaging with people, and I think because the visibility of this issue has, ri has risen, we've gotten particularly a lot of our task force members um, who receive calls and inquiries around people who want to plug in, finding ways and uh, to plug people in in a way that they would like to feel really engaged in the, the process. So I never got your name. I'm Tim Rourke. I should have. I should have looked. That's okay. <laughs> okay, thanks so much. Sure, thank you. You take care. Happy holidays. You too. Are you a liberty activist willing to be on the front line against socialism? Freekeen.com would like you to consider moving here to Keen. While Keene may have the largest number of liberty-oriented media outlets in the entire state of New Hampshire, there's still a need for more activists. Can you help them? Visit FreeKeen.com to see what's happening. FreeKeen.com hooks you up with all the liberty media in town. Join the Keene Liberty Activists and help free the beautiful city of Keene, New Hampshire. From the clutches of the government. Freekeen.com